we got to begin in Dallas as Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott contract negotiations continue. And D'Angelo Hall, he recently came out with some interesting comments. He said, quote, he, he believes that Dak Prescott would be extremely happy with a $35 million annual contract. So basically the question here is, Clarence, should Cowboy fans be worried about the Cowboys getting a deal done with Dak because they have until July 15th, which is Wednesday, to get a, a deal done or he's going to have to play under that franchise tag. So should Cowboy fans be worried at this point? I think so. I think so. I believe, I truly believe that the Dallas Cowboy fans should be worried about Dak Prescott getting a deal done within 48 hours of play. Well, 72 hours, excuse me. But, the, but, here, but here's, here's this, though, Trey. This this uh cowboy team is ranked top ten at, at their very at their very position quarterback running back receiver so that that's benefit for the Dallas Cowboys so if you just like I said just want to don't want to get the deal done for Prescott then he wasn't your he wasn't your best option for the future for the Cowboys now now for the thirty five the thirty five million like exclusive tag that that that's a lot of money I ain't gonna lie that's a lot of money but at the same time. You've been fighting for a whole contract for a whole year, and, and these two days are meaningless. Like every, these, them days, every minute, second counts because you they need they need a deal done. And now Patrick Mahomes, he set the market. He set the, he like re- reset the whole market. That Prescott is definitely looking for what he wants as a forty million a year deal, and he wants that now. And these forty eight hours, every second counts, right? Every second count, like he wants that. He wants it. If he don't get it right now, it's a possibility he can sit out or he's going to play on it. So I'm weighing them two options right there. Yeah, I think I think Cowboy fans should start getting worried because if they don't re-sign Dak Prescott, then basically next year he's going to get a higher franchise tag um, basically next year. And so there's going to be issues because they're going to have to pay him significantly more. But, um, you know, that that's kind of how we're looking at it from that perspective. So I think I, I look at it like next year, if they can franchise take him again next season, but that number is going to go up or they can sign him to another deal and it'd be a longer contract, but he'll be getting paid somewhere in the range similar to Patrick Mahomes. And that Prescott doesn't deserve Patrick Mahomes money. He just does not. He doesn't deserve to be paid like an elite quarterback like Patrick Mahomes, or you're going to lose that. So I think those are the three options now on the table. Next year, they're going to either franchise tag him for even more money than they are, are paying him this season, or they'll reach a, a nice deal with him on the long on the, on the long term side. But he's going to get, be getting paid like Patrick Mahomes, and he doesn't deserve it. Or they're going to lose Dak Prescott all the way around, and they won't even have his services next season. So I believe Cowboy fans should start getting worried because D- Jerry Jones he should have gotten the deal done a year ago or two years ago. Yeah. But I think he still wanted Dak to prove that he was worth a, a nice contract but you know that for the most part has proven that he's at least a good quarterback and can get you to the playoffs besides last year he didn't get to the playoffs last year and he did have some statistical good numbers but you know i i, I, I don't know yeah. i feel like the longer the longer the longer these negotiations go on and if Dak prescott can have a nice statistical season again next year it just increases his leverage yeah but here's here's the thing we're not saying that Dak Prescott should deserve Patrick Mahomes' money, but he deserved to be in them conversations with with the top quarterbacks in the league, though. So he should get he, like amount of good money, a good excuse me, a good amount of money. He's, he's well deserved over it. I I truly believe that that is the most like important thing for him and Jerry Jones to do. Just get a slight like hit a deal, get it done. And then you move on from there. These 48 hours is definitely going to be crucial, though, Trey. These are going to be some crucial hours. And I'm yeah. very excited to see it. So do you think, do you think, do you agree with D'Angelo Hall? Do you believe $35 million annually? Do you think that's enough for Dak Prescott? Do you think he deserves more? Because I think Dak won't like 40 million a year. I'm, so what do you think? I'm going to say this. Let's just put this by example. So imagine if he, he's there for a couple of years, he's getting paid $35 million a year. That will put him, what, third highest paid quarterback in the league? 
At, well, it, it, before Patrick Mahomes get his deal done, nah. I think Dak Prescott, he he feel like his value is more than thirty five million dollars a year. I think for D'Angelo Hall, he's saying it just to be on the safe side. Like, hey, you're you're comfortable. You're getting this chunk a year, and this is another year for you to prove it. But Dak is telling everyone his value is more than than critics and whatever. He just feel like he deserves forty million a year. I truly believe it. See, I think he deserves somewhere around $35 million a year. I think that's a nice number for Dak Prescott because Dak Prescott is not elite. I know you think Dak Prescott is elite, and you actually think he's better than Carson Wentz. He's not better than Carson Wentz. You, he's more reliable than Carson Wentz. I'll give you that. But Carson Wentz plays at a higher level than Dak Prescott. I told you last year. That was a prime example. As, last year was a prime example as to why Carson Wentz is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. Last year, Dak Prescott – had Randall Cobb, Michael Gallup, Mark Cooper at the receiver positions. He had Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield and couldn't even get his team to the postseason. Meanwhile, in Philly, that uh, Carson Wentz, he had nobodies at the skill position pl- spots for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he still got the Eagles to the playoffs. So I think that Prescott is a good quarterback. He's not great, but he's good, and I think he's better than quarterbacks like maybe Jared Goff. Ryan Tannehill, Jimmy Garoppolo, those are quarterbacks that Ryan Tannehill that 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 Dak Prescott is better. Than. But he's not better. He's not better than Carson Wentz. He's not better than Aaron Rodgers. He's not better than Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun but, Watson. But listen, here's the thing: Dak Prescott is more proven than Carson Wentz, in my in my own opinion. Regardless, regardless, regardless of the seasons went bad. Carson Wentz has has improved uh, that he can lead his team to a playoff win, which is Dak Prescott has done for the Dallas Cowboys. That 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 right there holds a lot of leverage on him. Yes, Carson Wentz is he's, he's a talented quarterback, but at the same time, he has been reliable. And, he has been reliable. He has been, he has been reliable enough to lead him into the playoff. His first ever game in a playoff, he got injured. That's 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 one strike right there, Trey. But 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 you brought up Dak Prescott's playoff record. Dak Prescott's playoff record is only one and two. He's only had three playoff playoff games he's played in his career. You act like he's played a significant amount of more games than Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is on one, and he he didn't even last a quarter in his one long playoff appearance exactly. against, the, against the Seattle Seahawks. But you act like you act like Dak Prescott has this huge sample size of playoff moments where he balled out. He doesn't have a huge. He, he does. He doesn't have. He doesn't have a huge resume in the playoffs either. He does though, Trey. He does. He has significant moments when he balled out against the Seattle against probably the top five Russell Wilson. In my opinion, right there, he did ball out. He showed him that he's willing to win and he's proven. But the following week, he lost to Jared Goff. So I mean I get I'm not saying I'm not taking nothing away from Dak Prescott. At, at, at this point, at this point, Jared Goff is, is, is significantly better than better than Carson Wentz because he's proven. Oh <laughs> what? Say, you hey, need, hey. J- Jared Goff is better than Carson uh, Wentz. Listen, listen. You need Carson, to be stopped. Carson Wentz quarterback Carson Wentz might be in trouble with Jalen Hurts coming into town. So that's what he, he should be worried about right there. Jalen Hurts is one, probably the next thing up in a few more years. Carson Wentz, I, I gotta worry about no Jalen Hurts. I'm you ain't gotta worry about no Jalen Hurts. I'm not taking I'm not taking everything away. I'm not taking everything away from Carson Wentz. But at the same time, you gotta you gotta point out, you gotta point out like the X's and in instead of the check marks. Look, he's he's been he he been hasn't been durable. He hasn't been durable. And he couldn't lead his team to the playoffs. To, I mean, not not to the playoffs, but to a, to the playoff win. And like you said, he got hurt in the first quarter. Come on, man! You are a franchise quarterback. We are paying you, paying you what? What? One hundred and thirty-eight million. That's an extension right there. You're one of the top five highest-paid quarterbacks. That's right there, man. Yeah, but the thing is, though, the fact that Carson Wentz even got his team to the playoffs last year speaks to the caliber player that he is. Listen, Carson Wentz is significantly better than Jared Goff and Dak Prescott. You remember back in 2017, the year that Carson Wentz got injured, he was an MVP candidate before his injury. He had 33 touchdowns, just seven interceptions, completed 60% of his passes, and had over 3,000 passing yards. And I know Nick Foles gets the credit because that's the same year that they beat Tom Brady and the Patriots in the Super Bowl. But Carson Wentz had them in the position to get to the playoffs, Clarence. Carson Wentz had them in the position to win the NFC East that particular year. Carson Wentz is nothing to be sneezed at as a quarterback. He is a 
franchise caliber quarterback, in my opinion, and someone who you can give the football to and say, hey, win me this game. I need you to win me this game and carry us to the promised land. He proved it last year. And, and again, the Eagles had no talent at the skill position spots, none. And he got them to the playoffs. Like I said, I think that Prescott, he deserves to get paid good money, but not great. I think $35 million a year is a right is right around the range that I would want to pay him if I was Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. This Look, I'm going to just say this before we go into the next topic. Dak Prescott. If if wait if he plays on if he plays on this exclusive franchise tag, I promise you he's going to perform better than better than Wentz, Golf, Kirk Cousins, maybe even Wilson. If my, him and Mike McCarthy can get on the same better than who? I'm just telling you this. Did you just say we gonna perform better than Russell? Let's go to the next topic. This dude just said that that Dak Prescott gonna perform better than Russell Russell Wilson. You need to stop, man. Your I'm football, your football, I, I you know, it's not no football. Look, you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. He has a future Hall of Fame coach and Mike McCarthy that that Mike McCarthy helped evaluate your favorite quarterback and Aaron Rodgers. So I wouldn't be surprised if he helped elevate Dak Prescott. I'll okay, so so let me ask you a question before we move on. You talk about how great Mike McCarthy is, and I do think Mike McCarthy is a is a good coach. I'm not taking nothing away from Mike highest, McCarthy. Second win is coach. And this and last decade and this is but listen, decade, listen now. Those years when Aaron Rodgers had those collarbone injuries, what happened with us? We struggled. We struggled with Brent Huntley and, and, and Matt Flynn. We couldn't even win games with, with just Mike McCarthy. The reason why the Packers have had success throughout the years is because of the greatness of Aaron Rodgers. Don't try to say it's Mike McCarthy. I, I think Mike McCarthy is a Mike McCarthy is a good Mike McCarthy is a good coach. But he isn't a great coach. You know why I think he's a great coach? No, he's not. He's good. You know why I think a great coach is? I think it's Mike Tomlin. Look at what Mike Tomlin did last year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They had nobodies at quarterback last year. Nobodies. Nobodies. And he had them one game away from the playoffs. 